Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless gas, and it can be deadly. One year ago this month, Denise Johnson lost her son to carbon monoxide poisoning while he was ice fishing on Leech Lake. This has destroyed his dad. It's broken me. It's, it's a really tough thing, and, and it's an easy, not too expensive fix. And I would hope that anyone who sees this, anyone who knows of Jared's death, of anyone else's, I, w I would hate to see this happen to any family because it's, it's not necessary. It never needs to happen. Do we have a lot of unanswered questions? Of course we do. Do we hope and pray no one else ever has to have these unanswered questions? You bet, from the bottom of our hearts. I don't want to see any other family broken like we are. It's not a good place to be. I, I think all of us are just hoping that, um, you know, we can bring some something good out of this. My brother would, um, you know, would want that, um, you know, that so nobody else has to go through um, what we have. Carbon monoxide is the leading cause of poisoning deaths, not only in the United States, but worldwide, um, accidental poisoning deaths. Uh, as you know, it's a colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas, so you can't sense it in the environment, and detectors are very important in helping prevent them. I did bring a, uh, uh, my lapel today is a carbon monoxide detector. Uh, when I heard about this media conference, I went online and purchased this for about $100, uh, and it's a uh, high sensitivity, a low-level carbon monoxide detector that can help save lives. And I encourage everyone to be aware of carbon monoxide poisoning, not only in your homes and your garages, but when you're out uh, enjoying the 10,000 lakes of Minnesota, whether it's in an ice fishing house or in a boat. Jared's death is a horrible tragedy. On that day, as you just heard from his family and friends, their lives were changed forever. Our purpose today is that we hope people hear this message and do everything they can do to prevent another death such as Jared's. Um, there are no regulations on ice house safety. Um, in our book, our fishing regulations, we do have um, the three different types of heaters that are commonly used. Um, sunflower heaters, which are recommended not to use. So uh, that's right now is just, we're trying to get the word out um, that, that what to use safely and what not to.